Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Uh, for fans that I love the Transformers train car game, uh, this is a sad day, a very sad day. Uh, Wizards of the Coast uh, and Hasbro had decided to stop producing new sets, and which that's the, a nice way of saying that they're not going to produce any new cards, the, the, no tournaments, or nothing like that. It's, it's over. Um, uh, when I heard the news, um, not gonna lie, I was extremely mad. Uh, I give credit to people on the Facebook page that were like, yeah, you know, um, thank you for the Wizards of the Coast, thank you for the team. And I, and I think Drew, the two mats, um, everyone involved um, were fantastic and they were, they were so supportive of the game and they, they were so supportive of the fans. Um, so I'm gonna take my anger and generate toward Hasbro, the corporation, and say that that's, you know, I, I think I, I, uh, I think you guys suck. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know how else to say it without cursing them out. Um, but uh, I think I think you could have waited. I think you could have waited to. Uh, there's no reason why just to pause the game. You know, I know it's it's uh, your, your your sales and everything. All it's all connected to you know conventions and tournaments. I understand that, but I just see no reason why you could just put the pause on the game, we would have understood, you know, uh, maybe this could have been time to maybe rethink the whole, all the sets, maybe, I would, even if you decided to like, hey, all the stuff is obsolete, we're just going to make a new uh, 2.0 version of the game, I would have been, I would have been happy with that too, but the fact that it was handled this way, very suddenly, um, um, yeah, I'm just not very happy with Hasbro right now, um, how do you both feel? Go for it. You I, were you were more heartbroken than I was. You I was just it. sad, saddened <laughs> by the news. Uh, I, Jimmy and I had been talking, and we really had kind of felt like the game had really kind of hit its stride. Um, Titan Masters kind of brought you know new mechanics to the to the table, uh, changed the structure of the attack cycle. Um, just sad to see it go, come to an end this way. No way to start a Monday. I see this message that it's over. And I didn't even know how to tell my boys that the game was over. They've had so much fun collecting cards. And uh, they, they didn't understand uh, that there wouldn't be new cards coming out. You know, I told them that we could still buy packs. Um, but it, it's... It, it's been a great family experience um, playing the game. Uh, I'll continue to play with the boys. You know, the game will live on. Uh, hopefully, there can be some of the community that lives on, keep playing the game. Uh, I really hope that that's what will take place in the background. Uh, and, you know, inside of me, there's hope for, you know, maybe they'll they'll relook at things if, if things get better out there. And maybe there'll be a potential for a relaunch. Um, I saw some artwork that looks like it had gotten, you know, spoiled for what, uh, War for Cybertron, you know, the third set would have looked like as far as some of the artwork, it looked amazing. Um, so to be teased with that a little bit and see that the it was coming to an end all at once, tough day. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I felt like that the, the, the game had really, like again like hit its stride i feel like some of the core mechanics really coalesced really nicely with uh the release of uh titan masters attack um i feel like there was a lot of uh a lot of the stuff that they've been building towards uh this whole time was really starting to come together um so yeah it was pretty I was pretty heartbroken that they've decided to um, to stop making the game. Because um, honestly, since since I stopped playing Magic: The Gathering, this has been one of the only uh, TCGs that has really caught my attention for any length of time. Um, so I was, I really got into it. Um, it's the only TCG that really got me. Um, excited to like play it in tournaments um, I went to you know we went to Origins 
almost exclusively to play this game, drove all the way to Ohio, um, you know, made a week of it, uh, you know, went camping with the boys um, to play in the Transformers, the first Transformers tournament. Um, I then went to Gen Con to, to play it that same, that same year. Um, and then went to PAX East to play it, even though there wasn't a huge amount of people there to play it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty heartbroken that my first game that I got that level of excitement <laughs> for has now come to an end. It feels like it just started, <laughs> even though we're five waves in. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not happy. <laughs> um, so let's take, let's take a look at why we think they, they stopped the game. Uh, I, number one, I think we could definitely say it's COVID-19. Um, uh, you know, people are not going to conventions. Um, and since this game is so dependent on conventions and tournaments, um, it's, it's, uh, I think that's what's just the, the, the powers that be decided to, to, um, uh, halt the game, stop the game for that reason. Um, I, I, I'm really surprised because they had, there's some stuff coming up down the line there. So the Earthrise toy series for Transformers toy series has been selling very well. And then there's of course the Netflix cartoon series, which is almost the, the same name of the sets that just came out not too long ago. Um, I, I would think that would just bring the excitement back up. Um, I, I'm really, I'm really very confused with how Hasbro has been pushing the cards line. You know, uh, I, I don't know why they don't have like maybe one card in a, in a toy box, you know, um, I, for one stand from other people that collect. The, the toys that that uh, they didn't even know there was a card game you know uh i, I would think if they're trying to uh market to that specific brand the the older uh uh older audience um um market that they would you know if toy collectors if they wanted to you know knowing the, how how passionate they are for transformers uh they would have these uh, a card or something anything to maybe try to get them into the game as well um I, I don't understand why they don't market it to kids, you know? Um, and what I mean by that is that, uh, and I, you've heard me talk about this before about how, um, um, like, so there's like, there's rescue bots, there's cyberverse transformers, there's all these like different markets, even though Hasbro, you know, Hasbro has different transformer toys for different markets. And um, I don't understand why they don't, take advantage of that like like pokemon is still popular with kids you know and i think kids and then the kids that and then people as get older they look back finally of it and they still get into it uh i would think that they would try to hit that market you know um i mean if 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 i had like a rescue bot version of the cards i'm pretty sure that that you wouldn't be more into it than than he than he is now he, he likes the cards but he you know he just recognizes rescue bots uh, he recognizes Cyberverse, you know, um, you know. So I just, I just don't get that. I don't understand. You know, if you have, you have all these markets. Why not just try to grab them all? You know, uh, I don't think the rules are that complicated. You know, I mean, uh, for for kids. I mean, I, I've seen kids. You ever seen kids play like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards? Some of those things, I'm like, <laughs> even go over my head. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I really, if that's the reason, I'd be really disappointed if that was why they didn't market it that way um what do you both think i know when we were at origins originally and we talked to ken nagel out there there really was a push that they wanted to be able to market towards the the younger generation um the kids the age of my boys um you know that under 10 age bracket to try and get them into a tcg which is why the mechanic was what it was with uh, flipping the different color pips, being able to add add things together. Um, it was sort of the reasoning behind attacks that if you had a, a double digit attack, it was a rare or infrequent event, uh, making it easier for that younger generation to be able to 
understand the game mechanic uh, and, and play through it while the text on the cards was making a more intriguing game mechanic for the older demographic that potentially would also be playing the game. Yeah, I mean, I felt like um, even in the starter set, there's like uh, there's like the advanced rules and then the, the like the easy rules where you just use the pips, you ignore the text on the cards kind of a thing. But they seem to have um, stepped away from that in subsequent sets, it seems. Um, I didn't see much more stuff like that in the, you know, subsequent releases. Um, so I don't know, maybe they were pushing more towards the, you know, uh, more adult crowd. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had a, a lot of fun, um, teaching the boys how to play and making them do math, uh, while we were playing, you know, while also teaching them the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was great for that. Um, and they were excited about, you know, the robots and if they got a big hit in and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was a very, I mean, it was a great game. I mean, I think I liked it more because we could play it with them and then it was, you know, it was easy enough for them to learn, uh, but complicated enough that once they went to bed, <laughs> we could have our more complex and really intriguing matches. Um, so that was really cool. Um, so yeah, definitely super bummed. <laughs> um, I mean, I hope that they could do... I, I have to imagine that <clears throat> given the timing of things, that they must have been like deep into planning whatever the next set was and it has to have been i imagine it's it was either close or you know ready to go to print um uh i really i was talking to bobby earlier on the phone because he just couldn't wait until nine o'clock to start uh <laughs> complaining about the game being canceled um, and I mentioned that I, I hope they do something on with Hasbro Pulse. Maybe they could, you know, do one of those sort of Kickstarter type events like they did with the Unicron figure. Because I would totally be down for buying, you know, the next set <laughs> as some sort of special limited edition thing just to get more cards and to see where everything was going. That is a great idea. Um... Uh, so there's been um, so the fans are rallying together, which is great to see. Um, I remember when I first looked at it, I was trying to see everyone's reactions, and everyone's kind of brokenhearted. And I was like, "Oh man, I wonder if people are going to care." Uh, but I think now that the shock has passed, I see people are mobilizing, and and um, they're they're really trying to think of ways to homebrew their own creations and and continue it. And it looks like there's been other card games in the past where they've been canceled and uh, they've been able to have a life afterwards, even without the, um, even with or without the blessing of the company. Um, I personally, myself, I, I just wanna like, just get a group together and just, you know, just keep emailing Hasbro and keep bothering them until they keep making more sets for the cards. That's me, I, I, I don't wanna uh, settle for less. You know, I wanna, I wanna see new cards. I wanna see a new set and, um, um, you know, and I, if I have to, uh, Hasbro's not far, too far away. They're, they're in Rhode Island. So, uh, they're about maybe an hour and a half from me. So, Hey, I'll, if I have to go there and bring some picket signs <laughs> or something, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, whatever, I, 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 I don't want to go quietly in the night. Um, yeah. you know, um, what, what are your, what are your thoughts? Um, I know there's a, a change.org petition, which, which I did sign, um, uh, electronic yeah right? i signed one of those today too <laughs> yeah you know uh, any thoughts about how this can you know uh is there is, do you feel there's a future with this still i i mean i really wish they would have done something digital um because that would have been a great way to sort of pivot um and keep the game going while they you know wait and saw with physical releases or whatever 
Um, I mean, the app that they had from almost day one, I think, um, was great, and they were making improvements with it all the time. Um, I would have loved to have seen a a way to play this online, like a you know a. I know just over the weekend, I think <clears throat> there was uh, some sort of a, a tournament on Tabletop Simulator. Um, I didn't look into it because I didn't have time to, to play in it, play in it. Um, but just having used Tabletop Simulator, I imagine that it would have been kind of clunky uh, to try and play this game um, in it. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, some sort of digital media would have been great for this game um i know with the pokemon cards uh, the kids um play pokemon well they don't play pokemon they collect the pokemon cards <laughs> when we decide to buy them for them um but the pokemon cards come with a you know a, a scan code so that you can whatever the cards you get in the pack you could get them digitally somehow i don't haven't looked into that <laughs> have all the little scan cards collected someplace, but um, that would have been a, a great way to, you know, pivot into, you know, digital. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different things that they could have done instead of just canceling the game. I wish that we could have, you know, pivoted into something more of a, on the digital scale. Um, I get everything that's going on in the world. It's hard to get people together to play. Uh, a card game like this when really the community calls for you know gathering together the support of your local comic book shop um, I feel like it's a little bit of injustice to those comic book shops out there that are struggling right now to cancel a game that has a backing it has support um, even if they're trying to gear up to get more support in their shop for this game to grow the community it, it's just it doesn't just hurt us as fans. I think it hurts the the overall gaming community as well, uh, especially with how good of a game this really was. And it was a lot about trying to transition people into understanding that this was a game that could grab your attention, hold your attention, a lot of different mechanics. I mean, I know you mentioned that didn't seem too complicated, but when you break into the rules and you're reading 59 pages worth of hey, this is how this works, this is how that works, this is how this character works with this type of wording. This is the way that this card is meant to interact within the framework of the of the game. There's a lot to get into there. There's a lot of meat built into this game for more than just the common player. And I hope that it can live on in the background. I know myself, I plan to finish collecting uh, the rest of what I'm missing and we'll take it from there. Uh, I know I have plenty of extra cards and I'd be happy to get together with people still. And if they were interested in playing or trying to you know, generate some more buzz, uh, even though the game is, is no longer, uh, I definitely still wanna you know, keep this thing rolling. All right, so we'll we'll see we'll see how the fandom reacts. We'll see if they're gonna what they do to fight to keep it going. You know, um, I'm gonna complete my sets. You know, because the art's gorgeous. Um, I have you guys to play with. I could I could play with my wife. So you know, so um, so I'm good. <laughs> you know, and who knows? You know, we'll see we'll see where it goes from there. So um, yes, everyone. Yeah, I, mean, um, I still. Okay. I still think there's a ton of potential as far as like deck building goes. I know Bobby is still coming up with deck ideas. <laughs> um, like he just texted a couple of them to me yesterday and he was all excited about them. And then to be devastated by this news today is pretty, pretty bummer. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, viewers out there, let us know what you think. You know, do you think the, the set is dead? And when, um, um, I know we're probably going to still do more videos. You know, I, I still like the game. And I know these two guys like the game, too. So we're still going to play. We're still yep. going to showcase when we can. Um, and, um, yeah, let us know what you think in the, in the comments below. Um, and I guess that's it. Stay tuned for more content.